Hey, retro gamers. Welcome back to What's New on Batocera, the go-to series for all the latest additions to our favorite retro emulation system. Today, we're jumping in a time machine, back to the 1970s, back to the dawn of arcade history, back when games didn't even have CPUs. Yes, you heard that right. Batocera now includes a brand new emulator, DICE, which stands for Discrete Integrated Circuit Emulator. It's designed to simulate early arcade machines that didn't use a CPU at all, only logic gates and discrete components. Think of games like Pong, Breakout, or Gotcha, built entirely with TTL logic, transistor-transistor logic. No microprocessor, just pure hardware wizardry. Thanks to the amazing work of Adam Bowsley, who originally created DICE, Dirtbag Exxon, who recently picked up the project, and Meet Tonk, who ported it to Libretro. We now have DICE Libretro running beautifully in RetroArch and in Bato Serra. All right, let's talk setup and how to add games into Bato Serra. As of today, 21 games are supported by this emulator, including early classics like Breakout, Rebound, and even four player Pong variants. Now, here's something really important. Most of these games don't actually use ROMs at all. There's no game file to load because the original machines were built without any software. Instead, you just need to create a dummy file. That file acts as a launcher and it tells Batocera which game to load using the Libretro Dice Core. But be careful, the name of the dummy file has to be exactly right. It must match the official name used by the core. If it doesn't, it simply won't work. So double check the name. Now, not all DICE games are ROM-free. Some of them still require an actual ROM file to run. Why? Because the ROM is used to store graphics, like sprites, backgrounds, or visual elements. Things that couldn't be recreated with just logic circuits. Games like Shark Jaws, Indy 4, and Steeplechase. These games won't work with a dummy file. Instead, you'll need the real ROM, usually in the form of a .zip file. Here's what you do. Find the correct ROM for the game. Make sure it's named properly. Drop it directly into your slash ROM slash dice slash folder. Then refresh your game list. Bato Serra will automatically recognize the game and launch it with the LR Dice Core. Simple as that. Before we wrap up, I highly recommend checking out the GitHub repository and the official documentation for the Dice Core. You'll find detailed information there including the exact file names required and a list of which games need real ROMs to function properly. Now, I know these games might not be for everyone. They're from the prehistoric era of arcade gaming, literally the very beginning. But honestly, I think it's an amazing experience to go back and learn more about the foundations of the arcade scene as we know it today. Most of these games are made for two players. Some even support four players. And I had a blast testing them out. Some of them, are still genuinely fun to play, even in 2025. If you enjoyed this deep dive into arcade history, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss what's new on Batocera. Thanks for watching.